सिंपल एग्जाम्पल मैं आपको शो करता हूं ट्वेल्व इज मैग्नीशियम मैग्नीशियम के केस में क्या होगा कि वेन बी राइट इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन इज वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स एंड थ्री एस टू सो टोटल ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर ओके नाउ एज द लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एंटरिंग इन टू द एस सब शेल डेफिनेटली इट बिलोंग्स टू एस ब्लॉक ओके इट मीन्स इट इज बिलोंगिंग टू आई दिस ग्रुप वन और ग्रुप टू ओके ऑफ द एस ब्लॉक नाउ You can see that this S has two electrons. Okay, so if outermost electronic configuration for S block element is NS one, then the element belongs to first group. If the outermost electronic configuration is NS two, then definitely the element belongs to group two. So as you can see, the magnesium has three S two. Two electrons are there, so it belongs to second group. Is this clear? now how we can identify periods okay so periods actually represents the maximum value of n in the electronic configuration so you just have to see that okay 1 2 2 3 this 3 is the maximum value of n and this corresponds to the period in which that element lies so it actually lies in third period so magnesium is lying in third period this is how we can identify very easily about the location of elements for s block elements okay now let us discuss how we can identify for p block elements now if we talk about p block element so first of all in order to identify the p block elements their groups their periods first of all we have to write the electronic configuration and confirm that whether the last electron is entering into the p sub shell or not if the last electron enters p sub shell then definitely the element is belonging to p block okay and as p can accommodate maximum 6 electrons it is having 6 groups okay now so general outermost electronic configuration for p block element is ns2 np1 to 6 okay if it is ns2 np1 then it is 13th group element okay and the p keeps on increasing if it is np6 then it is 18th group element okay and maximum value of n represents the respective period is this clear to all of you now let's take an example suppose i am talking about oxygen what is the atomic number of oxygen its z is equal to 8 So first of all, we have to write the electronic configuration. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p. Now p can accommodate maximum of six electrons, but we have only eight electrons. So 2p, four. Okay. Now let's have a look. That as yes, very good. You all are correct. As you can see, the maximum value of n is two. So therefore, it belongs to period. second okay now you can see that p has four electrons and we have discussed that if it is np1 then it belongs to group 13 np2 it belongs to group 14 np3 belongs to group 15 and if it is np4 then it belongs to group 16 so its group is 16th group okay. and as we have already discussed yes that if the final electrons enters p subshell then definitely it is going to be in p block okay